Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Monica Oxby. If you do not know, we hear tons of footsteps. It's my doggy, and she's playing with one of her favorite toys. She just loves the squeaky ball, and she's about to go insane because I'm not helping her get underneath the chair. But I just want to talk to you guys. I love, you know, these talking videos, and I'm going to choose a topic. I was helping her. So how to flick the off button. I love these like webcams. We're gonna have to start doing more of these. Anyway, I want to tell you guys my secret to dark spots. And my not secret to dark spots because no one wants them, but my secret on how to remove them. And the way I do that, it's the simple, easy way of using hydrogen peroxide. So that's what I want to talk about in this video. I love to use things that can have multiple uses. So honestly, when I started using hydrogen peroxide, you can definitely use hydrogen peroxide, you know, when you have a cut, something like that, something of that nature, a mosquito bite, bug bite, definitely you can use hydrogen peroxide with that. And I didn't know I was going to talk about hydrogen peroxide, so... My hydrogen peroxide is upstairs. I like using hydrogen peroxide mostly for two things. And those two things are for me. Using them as a gargle. And the reason why I do that is because when you're sick and you have, I don't know about you guys, but when I get sick, I almost always have a sore throat, whatever. I get sick. So for me, that is just the worst pain ever. I just can't take the sore throat. Like, it is just awful, and I just sit there and just sit on the couch the whole entire time. Anyways, so I like to use a hygiene peroxide to gargle. So now, when you're sick, definitely, if you have a sore throat, go to the store. Spend 88 cents or, or the big bottle for $1.88, which is this big. That's what I have. Then that so you can get rid of your sore throat. I'm telling you, gargle like three times a day with that, like two days, and it's gone. And, and you will definitely see a giant improvement the very first day you use it. Okay, next. So, not next, but what I do when I say gargle, I like to gargle hydrogen peroxide generally on a regular basis. Um, sometimes I forget. But I like to use it weekly. So I'll just open it up. Gargle, you know, the gargle noise that no one really likes. And I spit it out and then go about my day. That's pretty much all it is to it. It's just, I do it just to clean any bacteria. All that nasty mess that we don't know what's there. So, and that we don't know what's there. And then that could cause a sickness or sore throat, and I just gargle it, clean everything out, put it back underneath the cabinet. However, what I use it, I generally use it twice a day for my dark spots. Now, I'm telling you guys, like, yes, I may have foundation on, but you guys see me all the time without makeup on or without um, foundation. I start every video without any foundation on. So you guys can see my face. Now these spots are here, they're like impossible to move because they're for my eyeglasses. I do wear my eyeglasses daily, even if it's just only for an hour. I still wear it some point every single day because I have very bad vision, so it's just a must. I hate them, I do, but I can't do anything about them, so they're just there. But anyways, I had like a dark spot right over here. I had one right there. I had a couple up here. What you're looking at right now, if you see this spot and this spot, they actually are blackheads. So even though they look dark, I haven't started putting the hydrogen peroxide on it yet because the blackhead isn't out yet. So I will be doing that soon. Now, hydrogen peroxide shouldn't be put all over your face, however. Like you just need to get a Q-tip or cotton swab, whatever you may call it, and I just dip it into the hydrogen peroxide. Actually, in my bottle, my bottle that I own, I had to pour it. So I pour it onto the cotton swab, and I just lightly 
dab wherever the spot may be. And that's it. And then right after that, I apply my moisturizer. So yeah, that's it. Stay tuned for the ends of the video where I'm going to show you how I use hydrogen peroxide. Well, one of the many ways you can use it. You can see my face was really, really bad, but I'm just showing you guys the full fitted picture. And then I'm going to show you guys with it zoomed close so you can really see all the dark spots and all the improvement. I think I'm going to show that first picture just once more so you can really see what I'm talking about. I would just like to suggest to take before and after pictures. And remember, this takes time, so it is a progress. Okay, guys. So as I am waiting for my face to dry, because I just did one of my last steps of my facial routine. Sorry, that's the headphone right now. But anyways, so do you see this one, this one? And this one's fading away. But I'm going to take my hydrogen peroxide, put it on a cotton swab or Q-tip, and gently place it up there. And that's basically about it. So I'm going to show you how I do that. So for today, I'm going to be using this hydrogen peroxide. Obviously, I have the larger ball. I am going to pour this onto a cotton ball or a cotton swab using these because it gives you more a more of a precision when it comes to applying this hydrogen peroxide. Also if your throat is feeling a little croaky definitely 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 go ahead and grab you some because this is what I like to do and show you. You can keep gargling for as long as you may like but definitely focus it in the throat area and it cleans up your throat and also it does have a little foamy aftermath so you're, you might have to smell for a minute to really get that out of here but it's nice and damp and wet so I'm gonna go ahead before it starts spilling all over me This two days ago was just a white head. You can see it now. Honestly, if you do it like twice a day, it really works. I have one over here that I really, really do it. I really, really do it. And I would do it sometimes three times a day. And it works for me. I'm very, very strong. Okay. So that's it. And I always do this right before. Like I can apply, you know, whatever toner or acne treatment you want to apply and as you let that dry then I put this on the hydrogen peroxide and then the moisturizer so that's it stay tuned soon for my skincare routine and that's all I have for you today bye guys please like share and subscribe and comment thank you so much